President of the Uganda Medical Association, Dr. Samuel Oledo, has said the health workers will not hesitate to lay down their tools if their welfare is not catered for as they respond to the Ebola outbreak. The scenario where we have doctors starting to die, I speak this without fear or favor, as doctors countrywide, we shall choose to stay home until these issues are rectified. Dr. Oledo told NTV that their colleagues who contracted Ebola did not have protective equipment. The SHOs we are talking about in question, the three of them have been SHOs in surgery ward. They operated the case and the case turned out to be Ebola positive. So they were exposed and all of them are positive. The other one, SHO, was on medical ward who reviewed the same case with an intern and both of them the Ebola positive. He says they have listed several contacts which government has not paid attention to. We are suspecting over 104 of them to be actually exposed already. But it's a matter of time that we are going to have an eruption of this. The Ministry of Health remained tight-lipped on the status of the health workers, but there are conflicting reports about their status. And actually, the other two who are already in the ETU, they are doing so badly. It is our prayer that they get out of this predicament. They have all the symptoms that have been confirmed, but they are not very sick. Mubende's resident district commissioner, Rosemary Biabasheja, says the number of cases is growing. We have 42 admissions. 16 of them are confirmed. They are in isolation. Last night we lost one. And out of the 16, there is one very sick one. Uh, we also have in emergency those that are not yet confirmed. They are 26. The Medical Association has put forward demands to enable health workers do their work safely. We need the issue of PPEs available. We need facilitation of these health workers. We need a separate insurance for health workers. In July, the Minister of Health said they are not ready to handle any emergencies adequately due to budget cuts by the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning. Walter Mwesije, NTV.